Well, there are the simulations operate at two levels. There's the um, the the sort of cognitive aspects of it, the working with the uh, with the data and doing the analysis and the decision making, which is very much what we're focused on. But uh, implicit in them is also the competition. And more often than not, the students find that they start competing with each other. Some of our more cynical colleagues might say, well, they're babysitting. Um, and, and they do take a lot of uh, weight off us in the immediacy of the classroom. But the, 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 big, the big thing is that it gives the students the chance to um, put things in, put their theory into practice, work together in teams. Um, as an educator, what I particularly like is that they are highly motivated. I'm never sure whether that's because of the competitive elements of it or whether it's because of the novelty of the pedagogy, that, that it is a significant difference to tutorial discussions or those sorts of things. The outputs uh, almost always are written report and a presentation, 10 minute, 15 minute class presentation. Um, so they're the, they're the key sort of media, but in that work I'm looking for the demonstration of the assembly of data, um, the use of theory to understand that data, analytical techniques to get a better insight into that data, the development of a cogent strategy and then the implementation of that strategy, and then obviously the follow-up evaluation of that. At the end of the day, it's got to be about the analysis, critical thinking, synthesis and the presentation of those ideas.